Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I have a candle review to share with you, but before we go any further, what is on my lips? I have lined my entire lip with um, Exaggerate Lip Liner by Remmel in East End Snob. Then I topped it off with Max Frost uh, Finish in Angel. And then on top of all of that, one of my favorite Buxom lip glosses, which is in Dolly. So that's what I have on my lips. All right, so the, the reason why you're actually here and watching um, is for my candle review. This, today's candle review is going to be on Cole and Canary's Creme Brulees and French Berets. So that is the box that it comes in. This is the jar. All of their candles outside of the label and then obviously the name and the scent, they all look the same. They're all this creamy colored soy wax and that. So um, it's really, really, uh, when it comes to scent notes, first of all, this is a Canadian company. I have a playlist going right now for Cole and Canary. I have actually repurchased quite a few Cole and Canary candles in, including their Jet Set pack. Um, but my lost my footage to that fit like I did a haul video and I lost the footage completely. So um, I, t I did take a picture, post it on my Instagram. So if you want to go take a look at what, you know, what I did pick up, it's there. But slowly but surely we'll be burning through these. And of course I will be adding them to the playlist of uh, Cole and Canary. So, and it's 100% Canadian. It's uh, hand poured in Winnipeg, Manitoba. Love it. Um, crackling wood, wooden wick, hand poured soy blend wax about approximately 60 hour burn time which i would say yes it's darn close to the 60 hours absolutely and this one the the scent is creme brulees and french berets and the scent is uh described as custard caramel cream very simple which i like it's it's you don't need fluff um now anyone who's been watching oh and i got this one in a boutique the only boutique i think on all of vancouver island um, to sell Cole and Canary. I mean, you can go online to coleandcanary.com um, or is it .ca? Oh, it's .com. I was right. Uh, but anyway, this boutique sells it for $28. The boutiques will have a, they can kind of put it for sale, not necessarily for what they would like, but generally online, these are $30 Canadian. Um, what are we, how what size are we? Oh, I keep forgetting to look at what size it is. It's like an eight ounce. It's not, a, it's like, I think it's like an eight ounce jar. But anyway, it's a wooden wick. So um, I had problems with one of my candles. This is the third one I've burned. Uh, the Peach Pies and Cute French Guys, I believe that was the name of it. Uh, it burnt really poorly. And anyway, Cole and Canary follow me on Instagram and I believe here as well. They saw my video, they were super kind. That I, uh, they basically said, Email us your address and we'll send you a replacement. So I got a replacement in the mail. That was uh, that was awesome. So they believe a 100% a satisfaction guarantee, which is awesome. So keep that in mind too. So this one has actually burned much better than my last one. So uh, creme brulees and French berets. Now, those of you who know me, there's not too many of you guys out there that actually know me. I love to bake. And one of my favorites is um, white chocolate raspberry creme brulee. Uh, it's one of my favorites. I do that, especially in the winter time. I would do that at like a dinner party or if I'm having people over for dinner, that kind of thing. So with that said, I love um, creme brulee in general. It's one of my favorites. So um, wooden wick. There you go. It's slightly shifted a little bit. I will say it's kind of gone, gone to the one side, but it's nothing to be... Obviously, it's not anything to be worried about. There, This burns so cleanly. There's so far no sooting. Um, it's very, very clean burn. Um, as you can see, and when I love the scent appeal, by the way, I love Uncle. It smells like vanilla, like just like it says custard vanilla. And then when it's burning, oh my goodness. Okay, that's when it comes out to the real creme brulee. So it doesn't smell like burning, like burnt sugar, but it's that borderline. If you've ever made creme brulee or you've had creme brulee and you tap into the top hard crunchy crust uh, of sugar, um, that smell comes out with the vanilla and the custard and things like that. It's a true brulee, like a very, very much a true brulee. Now you will see that there is a little bit around the edge, which is, is actually not too bad. The burn has been really clean. I haven't had any issues with the wicks, uh, not, nothing at all this time. So I was, I must've just had a really bad one candle that I had there a while ago. So 
um, uh, on cold because I bought these like at the store, I would have given it about a seven burning. I would give it about an eight in how I like it, but um, the quality of burn, I would give it about a seven just because of this here, just because of that. This, there's no sitting. It is so clean, you guys, for having burnt two thirds of it, really. Um, and with no sitting around the edge is pretty good. But of course, the true test will be when it's completely done. So um, I highly recommend Colon Canary Candles. I really enjoy them. They're a splurge. They're where I save a lot of money at the discount stores on DW Home and whatnot. And Bath and Body Works, I, you know, coupons and sales. This is definitely my splurge candle. I think we all probably have a candle company that we might splurge on. Keep in mind, if you're American, go to coalandcanary.com. Your dollar will go so much further. Like Canadian, this is like $30 online at Coal and Canary. Um, I think it'll be $20 your, because I think right now our dollar is almost just over 70 cents to your dollar. <laughs> so your American dollar will go much further. So just a helpful hint. Um, but I really love it. Their names are super cute. The candles are really great. I really enjoy it. I'll definitely, as long as they keep pumping out new scents, I will definitely, and I'm looking forward to the fall ones. Oh my gosh, I follow them on Instagram. They haven't released them, but I can only imagine because like they're, they're gourmand type candles and I like some gourmand. So there you go. That is my review on Colin Canaries, Creme Brulees, and French Berets. <laughs> Sorry. So thank you guys so much for joining me. And as always, be safe and have fun.